This won't be a problem, sir. My girls can handle it and deliver as promised. Okay, then I'll keep you updated. Have a lovely day. Pink, I want you on red in my office now. Good day, ma'am. Good day, ladies. You have a new mission. And I'm choosing you to handle it based on the client's demand. Okay, ma'am, but I thought you said where to handle the next mission. And where you come in red is in the occurrence of Pink not being able to deliver on this assignment. Yes, ma'am, no problem. No offense, Red, but that won't be necessary. It was never been. Okay, Tigress. In spite of your enormous confidence, I'm putting Red on standby. Now, go prepare. The client wants this wrapped up as soon as possible. You have two options. One, you kill him. That way, the client can acquire his shares since he has no next of kin. Two, you seduce him. Get him to marry you, thereby becoming his next of kin. And then you kill him to acquire his shares. I'll take it up from there. He looks cute. But, um, I think I'll go with option one. I don't want any necessary attachments. That's my girl. Um, any questions? No, 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 that's all. Okay, you both can leave. Gotta be so cute. One less cutie in the world, unfortunately. more and it's show time. Hmm. The men who rather jog outside than actually go walk out at the gym baffle me.
my gosh! Oh, oh my gosh, my uncle! Oh, oh sorry. Oh, so sorry hey. about that. What are you doing? I'm trying to help. It looks like you sprained your ankle. Probably because of these huge glasses you're wearing. You know, it's not for jogging exactly. Excuse you? What are you talking about? Is it your face? Uh, calm down. I'm just trying to help. Well, try choosing your words carefully when speaking to a stranger. I apologize. Would you like to follow me back to my house? It's just around the block. Your, your uncle needs ice. If not, he's going to get swollen. Your house? I should follow you back to your house? Do I look like a child? A child in search of candy? What lady follows a random man to his house in this Lagos anyway? Please, I'm fine. Just... Let me help. I'm okay. Fine. Can we um can we go to your house so that you could help me? Sure. Let's put your hands around my shoulder. Get you the eyes. Thank you. <sighs> Sorry, I forgot the eyes. <laughs> Forget this time. So sorry about that. Let me drop this here. Oh, can you can you put it on my lap? Oh. Sorry, sorry, it's easy. Mm -hmm. Easy does it. Oh. Sorry. I can see you have some scratches. But it's gonna be fine. Oh. How does it feel? Um it it is better. Thank oh. you. Alright. So you see, I'm not some pervert trying to invite you into his house. Look, I'm, I'm really sorry about my attitude earlier. And you really did not have to. Yeah, you're right. I didn't. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm Steven, by the way. Kemi. Kemi. Is that short for Kemi Sola? Yes, Kemi Sola. Oh, okay. What's your surname? Why is that important? <sighs> Okay. Oh. Oh. Abby, is there any problem? No, 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 sir. It's, it's very okay. I've given him his medication for today. I need to leave now so I could set up the therapy section later this evening. I, I can't even be talking about me as if I'm non-existent. I'm still here. Yeah, this, I mean, this is coming by the way. Hi. Oh. Hello, Mom. Um, let me leave now so the session can be ready for him as soon as possible. All right. So, okay. All right. Uh, uh, I so, uh, uh, can I skip the session today? Grams. Hmm. If you skip the session, I'll, I'll change your nose to a man. Uh, no, 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 it's okay. Uh, are you not going to introduce me to your guest? I actually just met her. She had an accident. A minor accident. She was jogging and she fell. So I brought her in to take care of her. Ah. Good day, sir. Oh, good day. You know, typical love for my grandson. He will always uh, help a uh, damsel in trouble. <laughs> you know, he learned it from the grandfather. You know. Mm. You know, ah, back in the day, I never missed any opportunity to help a beautiful damsel in trouble. Grandpa. Oh, yes. <laughs> ah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I, I am what so sorry. For? I'm so sorry. I, I drank from this earlier. I, I, I thought it was my bottle. I left mine in the car. I am so sorry. I, I'll just go pour this away. Um, where's your kitchen? 
it's straight down to the end. You take your right. Okay, I'll, I'll be right back. She's quite weird, you know. Well, nobody's perfect. I know, right? Mm. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It's, it's okay. I, I think I've overstayed my welcome. But can I please use your bathroom? Um. Okay, it's right over here. Just take a right. Okay. She's uh, quite bold and courageous. She's the kind of woman you need. Grandpa, mm. you see every lady you see me with that I should be with. First it was Mr. Farouk's daughter. You know I'm not like that. I, I want to have what my parents had. But girls of nowadays, they don't think like that. You can't have what your parents had. They had what they wanted to have. You need to have your own kind of woman. I'm still mourning. How do I bring a lady into this dark atmosphere around me? Mm, I understand, Stephen. But the past is the past. Let bygone be bygone. All of us are affected by the death of your parents. Look at your elder sister. She's building her own home. You need to start building yours. I don't know how long I'm going to be around for, you know. I don't know. Grandpa, don't talk like that now. Oh, you never can tell. Anything can happen. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Um, oh, Stephen. I think. I should leave you both to discuss. Um, young lady, well, I'd like to see you around, so I'm free to come by. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's pretty bones. I'm sorry about that. My grandpa plays too much. No problem. Thank you so much for everything. It's fine. I should be on my way now. Okay, do you stay close by? Let me drop you off. Oh, no, no. I, I packed my car outside. Okay, well, at the very least, I can't let you go limping. Let me walk you. No. Thank you. You're very kind. <sighs> but I think I've bothered you enough for one day. All right. Uh, can I at least get, get your number? You know, I have to check on my patient. Patient? I mean, I saved your life. <laughs> You're a doctor now. <laughs> you texted yourself? Mm hmm So that's how they do it now. Women don't wait around for men to call them anymore. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Just get going. Goodbye. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'll talk to you, I guess. Goodbye. I guess I'll see you around. Sure. Let me let me help you with the door. No, no, I'm I'm, I'm good. With them. Fine.
ma'am, I was just about to call you. Sorry, I... Let's leave the past where it belongs. Is it done? Um, about that, I... I there were some challenges, so I had to change plans. You changed plans? What does that mean? Uh, I had to improvise, you see. He lives with his grandfather, who has a caregiver, and then they both saw my face. I, I believe that if I acted too hasty, I would have blown everything up. I see. Well, I do like your discretion. Let's hope you're right this time. I'll be in touch. All right, ma'am. you ask me to be your wife in such a short period of time. Oh, I hate doing this. But a girl has no choice. If we look at the chart, opening three more forest stations in Lagos will increase our profits by 20%. Okay, so what other locations in Lagos are you proposing? I'm actually looking at uh, Ikeja, or uh, Ikoi, or probably Shangotedo. What about other cities, like Port Harcourt? Is anyone keeping an eye on their infrastructure growth in that region? <coughs> oh, that city has always been my region. And it has been like that for years. Yes, I am aware. However, while every other city turns in their yearly turnover, Potakon doesn't. This has been going on since the late director demise. Are you accusing me of something? <laughs> no, I'm just stating facts. If we can't get an idea of total turnovers from all cities, how do we know the numbers match? Well, I'm not following. I'll put it in simpler English. Mr. Adeola, you have to change your way of doing business. Well, that won't be possible. Hmm, Mr. Diola, are you refusing to comply? You listen. Port Harcourt is my territory, and I run it as I didn't fit. And mind you, I run it diligently, and revenue is being remitted to the company's account monthly. But as for the total revenue from PH, that is solely my business. Solely my business. So no? Solely my business. Would you rather lose the city than Present proof that you're not embezzling company funds. Embezzling? Are you calling me a thief? How dare you? 
The mistake your father made was to actually will his shares to you. You are here in less than just a year and you are trying to claim you are more qualified than I do. If you want to go this path with me, I promise you, I won't let it go so easily. <laughs> Threats mean nothing to me, Mr. Adeola. And by the looks of it, so will this other board member. Look, you are seated here and you're watching talk to me like that. Are you going to allow this small boy prancing his daddy's shoes to change our way of doing business? Mr. Adeola, you are running this business like it is your personal properties. We don't run this like this. <laughs> Let me add to that. My father left this company to me and his demise. A brilliant mind like that believed in me without seeing any proof of my chance of success. The irony of it is, she couldn't even trust you with less. Excuse me. Are you talking to me? Me? I am old enough to be your father, if you don't know. And then, uh, the way you are going, I will teach you a lesson. And your father will not be here to save you. Mr. Adeola, you have the option of leaving this office right now. Or I'll have you first with me. Yeah, Mr. Adeola, if you continue like this, the company will be holding meetings that will not be favorable for you. <laughs> Is that a threat coming from you? Mr. Adeola, leave before you dig yourself into a bigger hole. <laughs> you will help me to contend with. Well, meeting adjourned. All right. Thank you, sir. Sorry, Abby. This isn't about you. Oh. Six missed calls. Yikes. Hello, stranger. Hi, Kimmy. How are you doing? I'm pretty good. How are you? By the way, I was thinking of going out to get drinks later. Do you care to join? Um, well, that won't be necessary. Do you want to guess why? I don't really like guessing. Just tell me why. What's up? Surprised. The security just let you in. They are meant to call me first. But well, it's good to see you though. Oh, you can come in. Um, I know it's rude to just show up like this, but I've been trying to reach you and there's been no response. I got worried and I decided to come check in on you. Come in. Okay. You can just see over there. Sure. I have to actually apologize for not picking your calls, that is. So I was in a meeting and the rule is to either switch off your phones or keep it on silence. Really? Who made the rule? My dad. Oh, so you work for your dad? Something like that. I run the company myself. How so? Is he retired? He... 
he and my mom actually died last year in a jet crash. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry, Stephen. Sometimes I still find it hard to believe that they are no longer present. I'm truly sorry. <laughs> so, what did you bring? Oh, um, just some pastries. I had a girl's lunch date at Ericaza, so I packed this up for you. Are you for real? I love Erikesa. I used to love this, their chocolate. Oh my god! Their chocolate muffin, I love it so much. Mm. How did you know I like him? Uh, I just picked my favorite, that's what I had. Are you for real? Mm -hmm. I guess we have something in common then. Oh god, it's been so long. Well, hold on, let me get this real quick. Sure. Yeah, hello? Hey, it's been a while. Oh, hi. How are you? I'm very well. I'm about leaving. I'm done for today. Oh, you don't stay here? Oh, no. Mr. Steven isn't key on that idea, so I come from home every day. I see. Yeah. So, do you live alone? At the moment, yes. But usually I stay with my sister. Hmm. Oh, before I forget, I got you this. For real? Mm -hmm. Oh wow, that's very thoughtful. Thank you. No worries. Take care. I will. Thank you. All right. Oh, I'm sorry about that. It was my sister. She was trying to make sure that I'm still alive. You have a sister? <sighs> Jeez, you're so lucky. Lucky? <laughs> I don't see any luck in that. In my opinion, you are very lucky. I mean, I've always wanted to have siblings. But um, I happen to be alone. Well, you can have mine because she's a pain in the ass. <laughs> when my parents were still alive, they had this fight with her because of the man she wanted to marry and her job. She didn't speak to them for about six years. Yeah. But when they passed away, she has now been doing baby sister for me. It's, it's annoying, really. <sighs> At least you have somebody. Some people don't have anybody to check in on them. Wow, that's pretty deep. It's still a lot I don't know about you. Well, you can take me to dinner and just ask me. <laughs> Speaking of dinner, my sister is actually meant to come next weekend. Would you like to join us? As what? As my date or maybe as a lady I'm interested in and I'm just trying to get to know. I see. Sounds good, but I think I prefer number two. <laughs> that works for me. <laughs> Shoot, um, I have to go. Wait, aren't you gonna share the muffin with me? No, sorry, I actually have to be at the gym for seven. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let me walk you to the door. Sure. the other day. My ankle is so much better after you worked your magic. Enjoy your cake. Kemi. The wonders of Kemi. <laughs> so, can I get you anything? Wine, juice, water, tea? Wine is fine. Wine? Mm -hmm. Red or white? Red one. All right, I got you. I didn't realize you're such a good host. Well, it depends on who I'm hosting. Oh, I see. Leather jacket on in the snow. 
Always such a cool guy, new life, new clothes, but baby, you're the same. I see it from afar. Hello. Ah. Stella, you guys are late, though. Please. Chief. Oh. You were serious when you said you had a date? Stella, Kemi, my girlfriend. Kemi, Stella. Hi, Stella. Nice to meet you. Kemi, we met. Us? Aside today, no, I, I don't think we have. Really? I don't know why, but I feel I've met you somewhere. It's just your name doesn't ring a bell and you seem quite different. <laughs> um, actually, I get that a lot. I have one of those faces. No, it has nothing to do with your face. I'm very No, sure. Stella. Did you come for dinner or to interrogate my date? For once, can't you leave work out of your personal life? My apologies. Sometimes, being a detective, the instincts just kick in. It's okay. Hey, Steven! It's been some time, man. <laughs> Definitely, man. How's it been now? How's hospital business? Oh, it's going well. I can't complain. How about Mr. Felix? Is he, is he inside? Yeah, yeah. And he's doing well, too. But although we're going to need like a refill on his medication soon. Sure, sure, sure. Just let me know and then I'll send it over. All okay. Right. All right. Anyways, this is Kemi, his girlfriend. Um, okay. Hey, hi. I'm hey. um, Dr. Brian Ogan. Nice to meet Steven's you. Steven's brother-in-law. Right. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I think we can continue the introductions after eating, right? Besides, where are the kids? They went to a friend's house for a sleepover. Don't worry, I'll bring them next week. Mm. All right. What's up? This girl you call your date. Do you really know who she is? What do you mean by that? I introduced her to you as my girlfriend. Still, I believe I've met her somewhere. It's just that her name doesn't ring a bell to me and she seems different. I'm guessing she changed. Enough with this. I literally invited you over so you guys can meet, despite our own resolved issues. And now you're coming up with this. I'm serious, TV. She looks very familiar. Do you remember Deji? I worked on that case a few years ago, and she was one of the main suspects. She was his girlfriend. Her name was uh, 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 Pink. Yes, Pink. And before we could dig any deeper, she disappeared. I know what I'm saying, Steven. Look, promise me you'll be very careful. Let me dig around and find out if my suspicions are warranted or unfounded, okay? Are you jealous? What? I mean, it's obvious I found someone else to replace the hole in my heart. And you can't stand that, so you want to destroy my relationship. I said you're making up these stories to destroy my relationship. It's already too late for you. After all, you pushed dad, mom, grandpa and I, your little brother, out of your life. Despite I wasn't against your love for Brian, but you still punished me for it. And now that they're dead, you're trying to come and fix things up or whatever. Please, 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 please. I don't want to hear anything you have to say. Kimmy is here to stay. I'd rather you live my life instead. Steven, Steven, Steve! Upset. What's up? It's nothing new to me. Blood doesn't always mean family. I just need to get used to it. Okay. What happened while I was in the restroom? My sister believes you're not who you claim to be. Who does she believe I am? I don't care. I'm not the kind of guy that believes public opinion. Besides, she doesn't have any proof about what she's saying. Look, when I like someone, I don't care if the world burns. Is that why you introduced me as your girlfriend? 
Because you want me. I admit it was selfish of me to do so, and I thought you were going to call me off, but then you played along. That really warmed my heart. Well, if it makes you feel any better, I thought that was really romantic. But why couldn't you just ask me? Because I was scared you would say no. I mean, we barely know each other, so if you did say no, I wouldn't blame you. Besides, I'm a walking landmark. Hey, you sell yourself way too short. If you are a landmine, then I'm a nuclear weapon. True, because since I met you, you just exploded in my brain and all I think about is you. <laughs> Cheesy much. Um, okay, so I didn't want to bring this up, but your sister was so mean. Like, is that how she's always been with like every girl that you brought to her? <laughs> Not exactly. I have never introduced anyone to Stella. My ex didn't meet her. Ex? Where is this ex? We broke up. She was traveling abroad for her masters. And I didn't want to do all that long distance relationship thing. Besides, it was around the time my parents died, so I was still occupied with grief. I've been dealing with a lot of pressure lately feeling of my dad's shoes, taking care of my granddad, looking for the right woman to build my life with. I even feel evil asking you to be my girlfriend. It feels like my world is crumbling. But I got butterflies the day we met. I was just afraid that it was a selfish part of me looking for something that wouldn't last. Why would you think it wouldn't last? I don't know. Well, despite the fact that you haven't asked, yes, I'd love to be your girlfriend. Are you ready for this ride? I believe I am. Are you? 100%. Okay. <laughs> I was just about to call you, but I had dinner late with Stephen and what his family. What you're saying is he is already comfortable to introduce you to his family? That's right, ma'am. That's progress. I believe you can try to speed this up. We only have six weeks left. Get him to fall deeply in love with you and get married as well. No offense, ma'am, but I don't think it's impossible to get him to do all that in six weeks. I mean... It would be possible to make him fall in love with me and maybe marry me, but getting him to trust me enough to sign all his shares to me, I'm not so sure. Then why did you choose option two? It didn't work with Deji, so we had to improvise. What made you think it would work with Steven? Speaking of Deji, do you know that the detective that handled Deji's case happens to be Steven's sister? What? The client never revealed that to me. That is not even the worst part. She actually recognized me. Stella, this is this is Shola. Hello. I know you're still grieving the loss of your boyfriend. I need to know your side of the story. I'd like my lawyer present during this interrogation. Listen, we're not saying you're a suspect. You were there when Deji passed away. We just want to know what you know and what you heard. That's all. 
I don't think you heard me. Without my lawyer, there will be no... Listen to me. You're only making yourself look more like a suspect with every passing minute. You can call all the legal help in the world, but I will find the evidence I need. And when I do, you would wish you made a statement today. It's okay. Let's give her what she wants. You want to call a lawyer? Okay. Here's a call. Call whoever you want to call. But don't forget to tell them that the reason why you're held here is because allegedly you were with Deji in his final moments. Don't forget that. Call. Hello, Mom. It's me, Pink. I'm in custody. Knight in shiny armor is on his way, right? You're married. What kind of man marries an angry woman like you? Does he know he married a she based? Hey, hey, Stella, Stella, let's go. Let's take five. Let's take five. Mm. Hello, Mom. Hello, Mom. Hey, Stella. Hey, Stella. Why are you always letting this girl play the same three tricks on you every time? You know she's only playing mind, mind games. Or you don't understand. That she was my friend. That she was my friend. Okay. Okay, calm down. When my parents turned their back on me, Deji's family stepped in to assist me with a lot of things. His father practically walked me down the aisle on my wedding day. So his death means more to me than a case. It's fucking personal. Too. Even if I can't relate to the situation, I understand. But right now, we need to take deep breaths. Please, I'm begging you. We can't just do anything. We still need to wait for our lawyer to come anyways. So let's just go and be calm and just get this over with. And wait for whoever is coming to come. Please. Let's go. Okay, so where were we? Of course, I denied it. I'm not stupid. Good. You need extra caution. I'll be expecting an update soon. Meanwhile, I'll contact the client on this development. He has to explain why he left that part out of the briefing. Yes, ma'am. I understand. Good night. Just loving this moment 
this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment Can we stay here forever? I'm loving this moment Hello? Hello, sir. Good morning. Good morning, Abby. Ah, uh, sir, I, I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm not sure I can come to work this week. Oh. So sorry about that. Have you gone to the hospital? Sir, I don't know what I ate. But I'm having a very bad reaction to everything that I put in my mouth. How about you go to the hospital, run some tests. I'll inform Dr. Ogan to prepare a room for you, just in case. Thank you very much, sir. So sorry for this inconvenience. No, it's no problem. Health is wealth. Just take care of your health, okay? I'll check up on you later. <sighs> yeah. Hello? Hey, handsome. <sighs> Hi, Kemi. Now is not really a good time. I'm in a predicament. What's wrong? Abby got food poisoning and it's becoming very hard to find a replacement. And I'm getting late for work. I don't know what to do right now. And why do you need to find someone when I can cover for her? Kemi, you're so sweet. Well, I don't think you know how hard it is to take care of an elderly person. Really? Then how did I manage at 15 with my grandma for three weeks? Besides, it's only a week. Easy as pie. I would really appreciate if you can help. Thank you so much. Is it okay by you if you come right away? Because I'm really, really late for work. No worries. On my way. Hey, cutie. Hello, you. Oh, you brought your box? Mm -hmm. The elderly need care on the clock, so I decided to stay. <sighs> Plus, this is my boyfriend's house, right? You're so sweet. <laughs> I have to rush to the office now. I have clients waiting for me there since morning. I'm sorry I can't wait any longer, but I have to go. No worries. Thank you for doing this. I'll see you later. Thank you for assisting my son to help me and take care of me. It's okay, sir. I never turned down a moment to care for older people. Um, I was my grandma's caregiver and it's actually a lot of fun. <laughs> well, it's daunting. It's, it's not easy. I am the one you're helping. It's really nothing. Mm. No. Steven really had it rough when the parents died. You know, he was so close to the father. The mother was his comforter. By their death, he was devastated. He had mentioned that he lost the relationship at about the same time. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Uh, uh, Vivian. The we're about to get married and have kids, you know, live happily. But she wasn't there for him when he needed her most when the parents died. And that contributed to his devastation. So what about Stella? Where does she fit in all of this? Oh, Stella. Well, I haven't seen Stella in six years. 
um, even her marriage to Brian, the father had begged me to convince him to marry her. She really is missing out though. I mean, I would give anything to spend more time with my grandma. Stephen is lucky to have you. Mm, thank you. We have each other though. And that's why I'm praying that he finds someone whom he can, he can trust, you know, he can lean on when I'm gone. Uh, I was just thinking that that someone is you. But I don't seem to know you much. Uh, I just feel that your heart is not where your mind is. the yearly returns for Patakot from 2019 to now. Preferably tomorrow. If you can have it on my desk in the morning, that'll be fine. Thank you. Hey. Hey. Are you busy? I was just about done. Did yeah. you worn out? I do. Yes. I just walk, stress, you know. There's this man, Mr. Adeola. He's one of the board executives. For some reason, he wants to make my life a living hell. Really? Has he always been like that? Mm, not really. It's since I took over from my dad as CEO. I'm guessing he just dresses the fact that a younger person is now his boss. Oh. oh. By the way, you also look sort of tired. Is it because you've been taking care of my grams? I mean, if it's too much work, I can get someone else to do it. No, it's not. I enjoy taking care of your grandpa. It's just I had a very hectic workout session at the gym today. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Also, I... Tried your fried rice that you made when I got back from work today. Um, it was amazing. I'm glad you like it. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything else on the menu? Like what? Like you. I'm asking if you're on the menu. <laughs> so are you? I guess I am. to use to describe that, that, that was beyond amazing. Oh, I never knew I'd be with the woman I love in my arms. Mm, you make me so happy. I remember the first day I saw you, while you were jogging with your windows that you call glasses. <laughs> I mean, I wanted to say hi, but I just felt like, 
If she can wear these glasses to jog, ah, she might not be that serious. But look at you now. <laughs> ah, I'm not gonna lie, I can go for another round. Hey, hey, like, I need to go freshen up. Like shower? Yeah. Okay, let me join you. No. I'll go alone. Why? doing? Why are you trying to hurt someone who is already in so much pain? All for what? Madame Dean? A woman who has exploited you for over a decade just to make her happy? No more. Pink dies tonight. Kemi is born. And she will protect Steven with everything she's got. Do you understand? Good. What's up? What are you doing out here? I didn't know when you left the room. And why are you having coffee at 8 p.m.? Is that the right question to ask during this current situation? <sighs> what are you talking about? What situation? I asked you. Before we got intimate. Before anything went too deep. And you said yes. Yes, and I wasn't lying. Then why did you act weird when I started to pour my heart out to you? I'm sorry, okay? I was just caught off guard. Look, you won't understand. Then make me understand, Kemi. Please. Because I don't want to waste my time and I don't want you to either. Look. My life has never really been my own. This, this feeling, like, I never imagined that, that I'll feel this way about anybody or that I'll ever be loved by anyone until I met you. It's left me with new feelings that I never imagined that I could feel about anybody. I feel compelled to love you and to give you everything that I am. You already have my heart, Kim. I want to know more about you because I find you intriguing. I lost my mother to breast cancer when I was four. My father and his mom practically raised me. At 15, he left us for another woman and he stopped supporting us. Wait a minute. I thought you said he died. Yes, well, he's dead to me after treating us like trash. Not long after, my grandma was diagnosed with bone cancer and I had to fend for her all by myself. Unfortunately, I lost her. I didn't have enough money to fund her treatment, so, so she passed. And my father, my father never showed up for the funeral. Not even. Oh, I will never forgive the man. I won't. He is dead and buried to me.
just want you to know that I'm always here for you. You don't have to hide your sadness away from me. When you cry, I want to be there with you crying. I want to wipe your tears. <laughs> And hopefully I want to cheer you up. I want you, Kimmy. I want you in my life. I don't want you staying far away from me in the other room. Can we please spend the night together? Patient. I'll contact her right away. She decided to use a different approach. It might take a little longer. That won't be necessary, sir. You've heard about the ladies. We never fail on a mission. I'll contact her right away and speed things up. Hello? Hello? Declining my call. <sighs> Red, where are you? Come to my office, we have a problem. Let me go prepare breakfast for you. All right, all right. One sec, can you help me pick which one? This one. This? Mm -hmm. All right. Do you need help? I'm good, thank you. Sure? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're so stubborn. Okay, help me. See ya. See ya. Babe. Coming. Oh, finally. Toast. Oh, okay. Let's start with this. Just what I needed. What did you put in this? This is so good. Babe. They're just toast. Mm -mm. So savory. <laughs> mm. By the way, I need a new secretary. That's why I'm my old one. Why? What did she do? Flirting with me. <gasps> yeah, she definitely has to go. Um, mm. Did you guys? Of course not. I don't mix business and pleasure. Cool. So do you have anybody? No, actually, I don't know anyone looking for a job. But maybe we can check like LinkedIn. I'm sure they have like qualified people on there. Mm, true, but I wanted to get from somebody I trust. Yeah, I understand. Don't worry about it, Cham. There's this person coming today for an interview, so let me just see how that one goes. Oh. Oh my God, we're really getting it. I have to go. Are you done? Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. I have to go now. <laughs> oh. Good morning, G man. Yeah, good, good morning, morning, sir. Yes, yes. Good morning. Um, oh, uh, Steven, do you by any chance have an idea when they will replace my drugs from the hospital? I I'm actually getting sicker. Oh, the dispatch rider is meant to come today with it, but I'm not going to be around saying. Oh, 
Babe, can you help me sign? Yeah, sure. I could do that. Oh, thank you so much. I love you. Mm. Thank you. Love you. Love you bye, Jimmy. See you guys later. Okay, bye bye. Uh, uh, looks as if you people are getting on well together. Oh, uh, well, you know, I know you love my grandson and he loves you. I tell you know when a woman loves a man for himself, not for his money. Oh, Sam, I'm not that kind of girl. Oh, oh. I'd never be with a man if I don't actually feel for him. Absolutely, I imagine so. Okay, I, I need to go and have a rest now. Um, do you need any help? Uh, no. <laughs> You're actually the person that needs rest after all the exploring last night. <laughs> Young people are quite exciting. Well, it's okay. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> ah, I love you. Oh. Good day, man. I wish it was. There's nothing good about the day. Pink has gone AWOL. I knew this was going to happen. I knew it. You passed on me twice on two very lucrative missions. How did you think she was going to complete this when she could not successfully finish the other one? You have forgotten your place. This is my establishment. You are my employee. So comport yourself when speaking to me or else you know what will happen. Um, I'm very sorry, ma'am. I apologize for my tone. <sighs> Good. I'm human and I admit I had a soft spot I think. <sighs> After what she'd been through in her past, I admit that I let it take over my ability to ascertain if she was qualified to be one of us. She certainly isn't one of us, ma'am. But you know how I walk. Whatever temple, whatever flow you needed, just tell me and consider it done. That is why I always keep you as a contingency plan. You always want to do things your way and never adhere to instructions. Okay. If he suddenly dies, it becomes a problem for the client. It has to be untraceable. Fine. Just... When do I start? Today. What? Like, right now? Do you have a problem with that? No, more. I heard he likes black coffee. Put little doses of this in his coffee. If it doesn't kill him by the end of the week, pour in the whole substance. It will disintegrate into his system and no one will know he was poisoned. Red. Yes, ma'am. Don't let pink get in the way. Once Stephen is complete, she's next. Absolutely. What is this? You tell me. I hope you have an explanation for this. Annual returns for 2019-2020. What's the problem? <laughs> you requested for a double check of all annual returns in the protocol station. I know why. Yes, I did. We asked you to submit them and you did not. So I had to take matters into my own hands. Um... By the way, how did you even get to find out about this? <laughs> Don't you know I am aware of everything that goes on in this company? Nothing get past me. Well, congratulations. You can hand over the 2019 and 2020 annual returns by the end of the day to my desk. <laughs> but wait, didn't your father teach you how not to play with fire? Huh? Uh, please don't forget to hand over the files by the end of the day. If not, we'll have this discussion in court. It's like, um, we are not aware of the kind of influence I have over this company. Your father knew his place at least. Mm.
Yeah, hello. I need someone removed from my office, and under no circumstance should he be allowed back in this building. <laughs> yes, my office. Thank you. You know what? You have picked a fight with the wrong person. And I will warn you, watch your back and stay alert. Because at least I wouldn't want you to pack off so soon the way your parents did. Not anymore. What's up? What's going on? You sound upset. Same old, same old. Just dealing with a child in a suit. Let me guess. Mr. Diola. Bingo. <sighs> what did he do this time? So he badges into my office and then he starts making threats at me. Can you imagine? What? Look, I think that guy is just intimidated by you. You have to be very careful. Well, it's not like I can't handle them. So, what's up? Okay, so, this might sound really cringy, but I think your grandpa heard us last night. He's been making jokes about sensitive stuff and it's so uncomfortable. <laughs> Why are you laughing? What's funny? See, look, Rams is just a jester. He honestly means no harm, okay? Eventually, you'll get used to it. Well, I don't like it. I feel like it's our private time together. He shouldn't like listen and then be going on about it. I'm, I'm just really uncomfortable. All right, I've heard you. When I get back from work today, I'll talk to him to respect your boundaries. Ah, no, please, oh, how can you say that to him so that he'll stop liking me? No, I don't want anything to be awkward. If you must say anything, just, you know, maybe chip it in somewhere when you guys are talking. All right, I got you. By the way, has the dispatch rider come already? No, but I'm still waiting for him. I'm, I'm here waiting. Okay. Please, when he does come, you help me give Gramps his medicine for today. I think it's already past his prescription time. Okay. Sure, I'll do that. Thank you. I appreciate what you're doing for me. I love you. Love you too, babe. <laughs> okay, um, there's someone at the door now. I should go as well. It's probably the dispatch rider. Talk to you later. Yeah? All right. Hi. Speak of the devil. Excuse me. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, I didn't mean it literally. My boyfriend told me that you were coming in. So sorry. Package for you. Wait. Aren't you here to ask me to sign anyway? Oh, oh. Your name here. Your signature here. Okay, thank you. Have a nice day. This medication came right on time. What? Come, this is different from the one I've been taking. Has the doctor changed the prescription? But, but I never complained. Why, why would he change it? <sighs> oh, my Gra dear. Grandpa Felix, I uh, thought you were asleep. Ah, uh, yes, I was, but I woke up a while ago. I had serious pain and... Um, oh, by the way, I came down and I saw oh. the medication. It, Where are they? Well, I saw it. I took it upstairs. I had some because the pain was too much. You signed for it. Yes, yes, I did. But I didn't give them to you because I wanted Stephen to come back first. I know. He... Must have told you you shouldn't allow me to touch them. Yes, 
And the pain is too much. I overdose at times. Uh, oh, Kimmy. Well, when you go upstairs, you can keep it. But let me ask you for a favor. I'd, I'd like to scoop out some of the drugs and, and keep them so that when the pain gets too much, I could take them if you're not around. Sir, I, I, am, I am so sorry, but I cannot allow that. If anything happens to you, Stephen is going to be devastated and he's going to hold me responsible. I'm not asking you to do anything. On the contrary, I'm asking you to do the opposite. Do nothing. Please, you can go upstairs and take them. Take them, they're there, they're there. You can go, hmm? Yes. Oh. 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 Well, I must say your file is quite impressive. You worked for Microsoft? Oh, yes, I did. But I resigned due to some issues, and those are the issues I don't like talking about. Hmm. That's the same thing my girlfriend said about her previous workplace. Really? Well, I guess we young women go through similar experiences in the work environment, so I wouldn't be surprised. I guess so. Well, I would like you to start right away. Okay. Coffee break is in an hour, and by the way, I like my coffee black. No problem. I will just head on to my desk right now. Sure. If you need anything, ask for Brenda. She will show and answer all your questions. Okay. Thank you very much. It was good. What are you up to? I... I have a strong feeling I've messed with this girlfriend in the past. She's hiding something. But babe, that's none of your business. Okay, Stephen is a grown man. Just let him figure things out. You himself. don't understand. She's not who she says she is. Okay. Why would someone change their identity if they weren't hiding something bad? Hey, hey, baby, calm down, okay? I don't like seeing you get so riled up. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. This is me just trying to protect my brother. You know, he's all I have from my side of the family, and I'll hate myself if anything happened to him. How about your granddad? Isn't he family? Are you serious? After he joined hands with my parents to overrule every single decision I've ever made in my adult life. Please, I'm talking about my brother. Okay, okay, it's your family. You know best. Anyways, I've sent Shola the photo to run it for me. I'm very sure she'll remember her. The kiss of Deji Bankole, do you remember? Deji. Anyways, Deji inherited his father's company and literally two months later, he was dead. If I'm right, she was the girl he was secretly seeing before his death. Her name was Pink. Uh. Anyways, I'll wait for Shola to run this. I'm sure she'll remember her. <laughs> you know, it's true what they say. You lose half of your brain cells. The minute you start having kids, the old me that remembered her the minute we met. The old you would have turned her to porridge. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, you know, you know. Let me just get ready for the hospital, right? I have a busy day today. Okay. Are you having breakfast at home? If I do, would I cheer you up? Mm hmm. Okay. Breakfast at home it is there. I'll get it for you. Alright, baby, come here. Mm -hmm. I love you. Love you too. All right. <laughs> Welcome home. Thank you. I was at the mall today and I passed through this beautiful jewelry store and I was thinking about you. Aww. I also love your flowers. Thank you. 
Now I can't see what's in it. <laughs> Let me help you. very sweet. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm, I'm just overwhelmed. <laughs> overwhelmed by what? Can I be honest with you? Of course. Nobody has ever done this for me before without me getting hurt. What do you mean? I mean, I... <sighs> I guess it's the way that I chose to live my life, but you're so different. Seeing you sad is confusing me. I don't know if I should take that as a compliment or not. Oh, please, it's, it's a compliment. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. Thank you. Also, I'm not trying to be in your mood or anything, but your granddad is... Oh. Yeah. Oh, Are you yes. just coming back? Yes. How's your back? Oh, well, uh, I'm much better now. Uh, Kimmy gave me uh, some drugs. I took them and do stuff. Uh, I slept like a baby. <laughs> uh, you were having a quiet conversation? Yes, actually. I must have been interrupting. Uh, okay, might as well leave. It's fine, we'll just go upstairs. Oh, really? So what did my grams do? <sighs> Nothing. I'm just overwhelmed. There's so much going on. So much that I really want to tell you, but I just can't. And here you are, trying to make me so happy at the same time. I just feel like an evil person. Kemi, you made me panic. I thought you guys had a fight about the thing you told me earlier. What? No. It's not that deep. He doesn't even know that I found it offensive. You know what? Okay, fine. If he says anything that I don't like again, I'll probably just tell him myself. Okay. Well, I just want you to know that if there's anything you want to talk about, anytime, I'm here to listen to you 24-7. I know. Thank you. So... How are things at the office? Ah, same old, same old. Stressful, tiring, exhausting. This guy keeps trying to get on my nerves. What guy? The guy you talked about earlier? Yeah, Mr. Adeola. I really think that you need to be careful. I mean, who behaves like that in a workspace? That has not been my point. At the office, I was about to lose my temper, but then you called me and I suddenly felt calm. Kimmy, you called my anger, my rage. That has never happened to me before. This is the first time. <laughs> this <sighs> might kind of be a stretch, but. Stephen, what are you doing? Would it be crazy to ask you to marry me? Oh my god. I know it's only been two months since we started dating. But I can't lose you. The way you make me feel. It's special. And I don't think I can find that anywhere else. So 
to Kemi, would you make me the happiest man alive by marrying me? Yes. Yes. Sorry, sir, but I don't want her to hear what I'm about to say. Okay, give me a minute. Please, sir, it's very urgent. Try to poison you. Not someone, sir. Or my Kemi. Abby, you have to be mindful of what you say. I'm telling you the truth, sir. I remember that after I ate the cake, the reaction started. So I went to the lab with the leftover. They tested it and found some substance that causes terrible allergic reaction, but not deadly. Do you have proof? Yes, sir. I can show you the lab results. I still have the leftover from the cake for evidence. I called you first because I am planning on reporting this to the police. Abby, calm down. We're not sure yet. It can be food poisoning from where she bought it from. So calm down. Eh? What I need you to do now is to send me the result of your lab test. And if you have any leftover of the cake, send it to my office tomorrow, okay? Okay, sir. I will do as you said. Have a good night, sir. Kemi!
kom ind. Your coffee, sir. Oh, thank you. Just drop it right there. Okay. Sasha? Yes, sir. I need your help with something. Okay. A dispatch rider is going to come later and bring something. I want you to take it to the lab for a test. And I want you to send the test results to my email. Okay, sir. Yeah. Would that be all? Yeah. Okay. And also, Sasha, this should be between you and I. Nobody else must hear about it. Understood, sir. No problem. Back early. Nothing happening at work today. What was that? What was what? You ignored me downstairs. Look, I'm really tired today. I just came back home to rest, so please, I don't have the energy for all this. That's why you ignored me downstairs. <sighs> Nurse Abby told me that the cake giver was poisoned. She ran tests on it and it came out positive. What? What do you mean by that? I, I bought that cake myself. What are you trying to say? Are you trying to say that I poisoned the cake? Why would you do that? Or maybe you did that to take her position as grandpa's caregiver so you could get closer. How to dare me. you, Stephen? How can you say something so malignant to me? I asked my secretary to do a test also. We'll find out who's lying. What does he say? Negative. Negative? Kimmy. Stephen, are you satisfied? No, please tell me, are you satisfied? Kimmy, I... You literally walked in here, gave me an attitude, and accused me of attempted murder. Kimmy, I do, I do. How can you accuse me of swinging my way into your life? After everything that I've done for you, I've been Kimmy. here trying to help you! Kimmy. Are you kidding me? I'm sorry, let's talk about. Kimmy. Not that deep now. Can we come on? Stop. I've been here helping you. Stop Please now. What are you doing? Me. You don't have to park now. What are you doing? Can we stop now? Stop. Stop. Can we wait now? Let us stop that nonsense. Whatever it is that you're doing, stop it. Stay late. Stay late. Stay late. Stay late. Stay What's happening? I know you're overwhelmed, but it's going to be fine. It was just a minor heart attack. Heart attack? Heart attack? Yeah. Doctor, he's, he's just 25. I know, I mean, I find it strange myself because there's no case of this in his family. But he'll be fine. He'll be fine. Just keep an eye on him, okay? And um, tomorrow he should come in for like full examination. Okay. All right. He'll be fine. And um, I'm sure he wouldn't want Stella to know that he collapsed. Yeah. Okay, so I won't say a word. Thank you. Right. Yeah. So just. Thank you very much. Good, okay. Ciao. All right. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. I'll get going now, okay? All right. All right. Do you know I'm looking and I can't help but
with smile do you know things going to happen to you you put my favorite song on i put my feet up and we just sing along and i can't help but feel and just love Till I fall asleep. skip breakfast. Are you sure you're 100% strong enough? I'm 200% stronger. Thanks to you. Catch you later. All right.
get the others to sign this. I mean, he can't keep acting like, acting however he likes. Well, I had dinner yesterday with Mrs. Folade, and um, we discussed about this, how he embezzled money in the company. I, well, I think we have our votes. Okay. Yeah. That's good news. So only two people left. Mr. Adeola owns 30% of shares in this company. And that is his right. But he doesn't have to be part of the board of executives. He will also have to step down and resign from the stations in Portacourt. Don't you agree? Well, all right. All right. Oh, one moment. Let me, let me get this. Hello? Stephen. Stephen, is your granddad? Hi, what's up? I've been trying to wake him up. I think he's unconscious. What? What happened? Where? I don't know if he overdosed or whether he took the pain because I'm not sure what's going on. I don't know, I don't know. I was just downstairs and I heard him and I came up and he's not breathing. Okay, just give him TPR. I'll be on the way right now. I'll meet you guys at the hospital. Here to witness an innovative product that will go down in history as one in a million. This is an addition to our collection, courtesy of one of our favorite clients. With this, you can induce a heart failure in as little as a few days. Untraceable, highly addictive, and effective. Only those on a mission will be given this pill. You are not to use it for your personal agendas. Is that understood? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Ma To understand how is he dead? Babe, everything is going to be fine. I promise. But he was fine this morning. And now he's dead? Life is full of unpleasant surprises. We can't know for sure what will happen in the next hour. Wait. Wait, the doctor said that his medication was not the same prescription he gave him. Did somebody change it or something? Was all of this premeditated? 
We don't have all the answers, babe. All we can do is just stay strong. to you too. Shala, what are you doing here? I'm still on leave. Come on, it's about the ladies. Ladies' organization. As you can see here, your brother's so-called girlfriend, Kemi, and, and Pink from Deji's case are the same person. She kind of changed her name and touched up on her parents a bit, but I think she did a bad job because, I mean, look here. Could she be linked to the ladies' organization? Exactly. She is. Remember that phone call that she had during the, during the interrogation? Mm -hmm. We traced it to a woman. Guess who this woman is? The infamous queen of the ladies, Madam Dame. <gasps> but actually, the sad part is that I feel your brother is in danger. Because the statistics show that just this year alone, 12 CEOs have lost their lives or their companies to her agents. So we need to do something about it. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. Your grandfather just passed away. Something is going on here. But first, I need you to come down to the hospital. I have something to show you. Dad, how is he? I'm, I'm on my way. Dad, what happened? My granddad just passed away. Oh, my God. I have to go. Do you think it's the ladies? Mm-hmm. Last thing I do. Bella, you need to be careful. Hello? So I have to use unknown numbers to contact you? Are you trying to test me, Pink? I can no longer do this. I'm going to do it. Did you have to kill his grandfather? Did you have to kill him? Listen. I'm going to go to him, tell him everything and turn myself in. I don't care anymore. Be quiet. I called you so you have to listen to what I called to say. You can't finish the mission. Well, this is my last olive branch I'm extending to you. Red will handle everything and see to Stephen's demise. Don't get in the way of her succeeding or you won't escape my wrath. Oh, I see what you're doing. Red is the new secretary at the office. Fine. I won't get in the way. I won't try to change anything. Okay? You can do what you want. I'll be back soon. Nice to see you again, Lady Pink. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Who's Lady Pink? Oh, please! You can stop the acting now. Because I know who you are. And I know why you're here. You were Deji's girlfriend. And after he died, you disappeared along with his inheritance. And now it's my brother's turn, right? You've obviously succeeded in killing my grandfather, didn't you? You little slut! What's going on here? Steven, this guy is a criminal and I have proof of it. What stupid proof? Grandpa just died. I even thought you came here to check up on me, but you came with your useless detective work, accusing my fiancé of crimes. Stella. How heartless can you be? Listen to me for once. I know you hate me for abandoning you and all that, but this is me trying to make up for that. This girl is trying to kill you! And I know this because I've been tracking an organization she's a part of, Steven, known as the Ladies. These ladies seduce and kill men for third parties who want to claim the shares of their victims. Please, Steven, believe me. Stella, I don't have time for this right now. Grandpa is at the mall. You can't go and pay him your last respects. See yourself out.
What's that about? Um, just... Just what? What are you even doing hey, here? Hey, 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 I, I came to see you, okay? I, I came to see you. Look, I read somewhere on a nutrition blog post that coffee is not good for the body, it's not good for your heart, okay? It causes long-term migraines. I don't think that you should have it anymore. As a matter of fact, don't eat anything at work. If you need anything, just let me know. I'll bring it from the house for you. Um, your secretary, she's, she's doing a good job, right? Just go see her. What the hell, Pink? We're in an office. So she sent you here to finish up my mission. You've been here this whole time picking up on my crumb trail? Dearest Pink, you see that crumb trail you're leaving behind? You know where it's going to lead me to, right? Your precious boyfriend. And by the time I am done at the end of that trail, I'm going to wrap his corpse in a box with a shiny red ribbon as a gift to my old enemy. And so I will advise you enjoy this little time before his good night. I am only going to say this once. Stay away from Stephen. And if I don't? And if you don't? I will accept you want to spend the rest of your life rotting away in prison. You don't want to cross him. Do you even know who his sister is? Oh, I see. Madame Dame just sent you in here blindly with a blindfold covering your eyes. You know nothing. Look, if anything, anything at all happens to Stephen, you're finished. Try me. Try me. Anything. I'm back. Um, the house is really boring these days. I'd like to stay with you until closing hours. I mean, if, if that's fine by you, I mean, you are the boss. Why are you acting so weird? Am I? Nothing. Can't I just spend some time with my fiancé? You're the reason for my demon of Kemi. You're the one acting weird. Ever since Grandpa died, you just, you're just acting weird. First of all, you show up at my office unannounced. You go through my phone. I mean, what the hell is this? What's going on? Does this have anything to do with what Stella said? You don't want acting like somebody that is accused of crimes. Did you know Deji? Are you responsible for what happened to him? Yes or no? Yes or no? It wasn't me. It was my boss. I was sent to do it, but, but I developed cold feet. Deji, Grandpa, Nosabi, myself. Do you know what we all have in common? You! Steven, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? It wasn't supposed to be this way. Did you kill Grandpa? No! I would never! It was Madame Dame. Who the hell is Madame Dame? She's my boss. She sent me here. I'll, I'll explain everything. I want you to go upstairs, pack your shit, and get the hell out! Stephen! I will leave, okay? But I need you to listen to me. Please. Stephen, you and I are not any different. After you lost your father, you had to step up to him, right? Madame Damas has always been my mother. After I lost everything, she took me in. She was the only person that, that cared for me. So I just believed that, that I could do anything for her. Whatever it was, kill, lie, steal. 
all of that changed after I met you. I don't have any desire to do any of our evil wishes. All I care about is you. You don't have to forgive me, but I need you to understand me. Stephen, your life is in danger. Somebody wants to acquire all your shares and they've paid the ladies' organization a huge sum of money to take you out. I was sent here to do the job, but because I've gone rogue, they, they've sent somebody else to finish the mission. Someone else? Who? Her name is Red. Your secretary. How long have you known about this? I just found out. And that's why I came to the office to confirm. The coffee. Was it poisoned too? Was it spiked? That's... That's, that's how we carry out our mission. Oh. You poison your victims until they've expired. I will turn myself in, okay? I'll pay for my crimes. But before that, we have to destroy the organization, otherwise they will keep coming for you. If we're going to do something that big, we need Stella. But as for you, I can't even look at you anymore. You disgust me. <laughs> Dry. Do you know I'm looking and I can't help but smile? Do you know how much I love Sasha, one moment, please. Uh, I actually don't like the way you make my coffee. Oh, I'm so sorry about that, sir. That's okay. Can you get me um, water from the kitchen? From okay. the kitchen? And a spoon, please. Okay, sir.
try this. Okay, so. So is this Balkan coffee? Yes, that's the kind of coffee I like. Okay, so. I noticed you've been using the instant coffee in the kitchen. I don't like that one. It it ruins my mood. Okay, so I will make use of the Balkan coffee and sports. All right, no problem. Okay, just try this. Sir? Try it. So you know the difference. Oh no, sir. I really don't like the taste of coffee. It's too strong for me. But you just tasted the first coffee with no issue. What is wrong with the one you made? Sir, there's nothing wrong with this one. Don't, 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 don't get me wrong, sir. There's no problem with this at all. I, it's my boss's coffee, so I can't drink it and it's too strong. Okay, so the spiked coffee is my coffee. No, sir, the coffee is not spiked. I would not do that. I, <laughs> sir, I would never spike your coffee. You, I think there's a mix up here. Then take a sip. Do it willingly or I'll have to force it down your throat. Sir, let me explain. The coffee is for my boss. I really don't like the taste of coffee because it's too strong for me. Officer, please take her away. By the way, sir. No, sir, wait, way, sir. sir. Officer, hold on, sir. Please, sir, it is not like that. It was not my intention. I wasn't going to. Sir, please. I said, moving now. This way, please. Hank, the lost sheep has finally returned. So, what is it you wanted to show me? So you did it. How did you get him to sign this to you? Um, we're married now. And I just found out that I'm pregnant. This is a testament of his trust for me. Besides, he, he really doesn't want to have anything to do with the company. So he signed it over to me and our unborn child. You're pregnant. That wasn't part of the plan. You know you can't keep that pregnancy, right? I know. It's, it, it's really of no importance to me. Um. I want to know something though. It's been bothering me for some time now. What is it? DG. I know that I did not kill him. I, I tried to, but, but I got cold feet. Even though he was so sadistic to me and so mean in the short time that we were together. I still couldn't find out how to do that, but I still couldn't do it. Did you get ready to finish him off? Why do you ask all of a sudden? This happened six years ago. I... I just want to feel powerful enough. I want to know that, you know, I'm powerful enough to finish this mission without spilling any blood. But others, others will look down on me when they find out that I couldn't complete Deji's mission. Are you, are you crying? I just, I want to know that, that I'm capable of doing this. But how will I know when, when no one has told me anything? Yes, I did get Red to finish him off, but she was not supposed to speak about it because I wanted to preserve my reputation. I knew you wouldn't hurt a fly, and I wouldn't be able to kill him. I had hopes. Because you and I have a strong relationship, like mother and daughter. 
red and the rest are just accessories. So be proud of yourself for this success. Because I'm proud of you. So, um, this kind, will you be proud of this success as well? Mr. Diola, he will be pleased to receive this. All you have to do is sign his shares off to him. We can do that tomorrow. Sure. Sure. I just want to say thank you. For what? For clearing my conscience and revealing that bastard's identity. What's that supposed to mean? Madam Dame. Finally meet. Officer, put this woman in handcuffs. Yes, ma'am. I just want to apologize for everything that happened. I know that I, I know that I hurt you. I also know that you genuinely cared for me. I know that we cannot fix any of that, but I, I just really wanted to say that I'm sorry. Honestly. All of that is in the past. It doesn't matter to me anymore. I've missed you every day since you left. And as crazy as it may sound, I still love you. So before you run away again and go to prison, will you marry me? Yes. Yes, Stephen.